guys welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm carrie and i make videos about home decor lifestyle and basically whatever else it's been a minute since you last saw me and i've taken a nice long hiatus which was honestly much needed but i am finally back to share my brooklyn new york apartment tour no one likes long intros i know so i'll just give you a quick overview of the apartment or feel free to skip ahead if you want to this time just some quick facts about the apartment and the building i live in a two bedroom one bathroom apartment in central Brooklyn. I have one roommate, Celia, and we live here with my dog June and her cat Squid. This is a pet friendly elevator building and it has laundry in the building. We currently pay $31.45. I pay more because my room is much larger, but our rent has actually fluctuated a bit and it actually went down a little bit during COVID. I should also mention that we get our last month of our lease free, which has been the same um, every time we've renewed. So you can figure out what the cost would be with that factored in. It's a lot for this size space, but we do live very, very close to Prospect Park. This was originally her apartment, which I moved into when her former roommate moved out. She owned most of the furniture and stuff in all the common spaces, so it was a pretty blank slate. I've now lived here since September 2020. We've renewed our lease a few times and we're actually moving out soon, so I thought finally filming this would be a good way to go out. That's about it. I'm really, really excited to show you the space and all that I and we have done to it in our respective spaces. This is very, very different from my last apartment, if you saw my last apartment tour, but I hope that you like it. Let's roll it. Hello and welcome to me and Celia's apartment. I'm currently standing at the front door and I'm just doing a quick pan of the space so that you can see an overview of the apartment and sort of get your bearings. The kitchen is quite literally the entry. One thing I should mention before we go any further is that the majority of the kitchen is DIY'd. This is not what it looked like originally. I hope I have a photo and I'll try to put it here if I do. Really the backsplash was just this black stone color which was not terrible at all it was like totally workable but i just really felt like this terrazzo pattern and having a white base really brightened everything up and then back here you can see we have removable backsplash that clearly does remove i know that this line is here which was just an issue sort of with measuring which is not my favorite but i honestly day to day don't even really notice it except for the color difference on camera right now is pretty stark and this is looking very blue which it does not at all in person and then these shelves were a fairly recent addition. I always really like the look of open shelving and I also have clearly a obsession if you want to call it that with collecting vintage glassware so this is kind of a home for that. This is what our cabinet space looks like. Not too much but it could definitely be worse and we are able to store a good amount of stuff in here so I will show you. We are lucky to have a dishwasher. It's definitely a smaller one but still nice to have. This is sort of a little like catch-all area as we're about to leave. Moving downward, this is where June's food bowl lives. Normally the kitchen would end as you can see where the stove ends, but we really really needed some extra counter space and also some extra just storage space for kitchen things. And so we got this cart. This really worked out also just based on where the plugs are. There's a plug for the stove back there so that the microwave could be um, plugged in there. And then down here we have squids, water, and food bowls. So it's nice that the animals have both a designated little area to eat. This is the kitchen again from this view. Now turning left to keep showing you this part of the apartment, we have our coat and sort of everything closet. I will just give you again a little preview of nothing too crazy. Uh, we have it sort of organized with these bins. Me and Celia each have a side and then we keep most worn and reached for our shoes. That's June's bell. She rings a bell to go out. One more thing to mention is this is actually also where Squid's litter box lives. Now moving right along to the rest of our living space which happens to be our dining area. Clearly this is all just one not big, but not small space. So we had to figure out a good place to put somewhere to eat. That happened to be here for us, which I think that Celia told me when she looked at the apartment originally. The last tenants also did something similar, but had like a long table coming out. I am a big fan, a big supporter of the bistro table, just because it's a circle. It doesn't take up as much room. We can fit as many or as few chairs around it as we need to. And we 
co-own this table. So this particular table is a good blend of Celia and I's kind of decor taste. Celia is very into pastels. I'm more into like moody, deeper colors and this like grayish purple I think is a good halfway point. Right now we just have two chairs that um, I thrifted a while ago. This is specifically here because it covers our electrical panel. <laughs> right here we have Squid's mushroom cat tree. This is our living room area and our sofa section. I moved in with only a few of these pieces and sort of built around them for the decor of this. And I really, really like it. I love these fruit prints. And specifically getting this mirror came with a sort of interesting saga of events, but um, I'm really glad that we have it. I really like the size. I think it helps really open up this space so that it looks bigger, which mirrors often do. This is the other side of the living room. On the wall is a Samsung frame TV. It's supposed to, you know, look like art framed on the wall instead of a black box. The coffee table is just a set of two nesting tables that are put together to make one coffee table. And then they sit on this rug, um, which is like one of my dream decor purchases and really, really, really makes the space in here and sets the tone for how colorful and playful it is. And then we have our credenza here, which was a strategic sort of purchase from CB2. It really gives us tons of room to store stuff. I'll just give you a quick like show and tell. We keep it pretty organized in here and also have our printer which I feel like not a lot of people in New York have a printer, but it has really saved us. On the top of the credenza, I have a few just fun, random things. This zebra has been kind of a staple in my spaces for the last few years. I really like having light that's not our overhead light to um, set a different kind of mood in the space. And we have a few different options for how we want to light it based on what time of day it is or, or what's going on. Here on this wall, which is between my room and the bathroom. We had this sort of small amount of wall space that I thought could be perfect for a bookshelf. This shelf is essentially a knockoff, you could say, of the CB2 staircase bookshelf, but really this one worked perfectly because it's actually significantly smaller. The CB2 one would have been about to here. I really like that it's white and kind of just disappears so that all of the colorful accents on top of it can be kind of the main event. One thing I also want to mention here is that this piece was a gift from a brand called Curvino, which is an art rental service that's based in New York but delivers nationwide, which focuses specifically on fine artists and emerging artists. I have another piece in the apartment from there, which I'll show you soon, but I just wanted to give a quick shout out to them. They also gave me a discount code if you want to try the subscription service, but this is just a view of the shelf. at the entrance of my bedroom. The first thing I'll direct you to so that I don't forget about it in here is this pendant lamp. This is from the same Etsy seller that the sconce in my living room is from. I love the um, sort of wood look, kind of ties together some elements in here. I had two classic like renter boob lights that were there and there, but we just put a cap in this one and then only made this the light because I have a bunch of light sources in here that I'll talk about in a second, but together they create a really nice amount of light and then they're sort of like moody um, each on their own. So lots of options. Pretty straightforward. I have it laid out so that my bed is closest to the window and then I have a workspace and my dresser. My closet is over here. When you first walk into the bedroom, I decided to paint this little nook. It's kind of a dark chartreuse color just to give it kind of make this sort of a little vignette in the room and give it like its own moment and i think the brass of the mirror looks really nice on the green this was actually like a 30 dollar um, thrift store find this is my closet i'm not gonna do a closet tour but i will give you a little look at what is in here pretty full at the top i have these open spaces bins that have i think linens extra linens and then winter stuff and then have some extra accessories in there. I also have a little shoe rack here just to stay organized. This is June's crate or her house as we call it. She loves it. She hangs out in there. She goes in there on command um, and that's her favorite toy. Next to that is my desk. This was like a dream desk purchased for me and is like one of my prized possessions. And then my wood brewer chair here was a Facebook marketplace find that I got for under $100 for someone that was moving and needed to get rid of stuff quickly. This is my work from home space. Before I had this, I had been working from our 
dining room table for like a year and now I'm really glad to just have a dedicated space. I will also be using this as a vanity so I do have this light up makeup mirror that has a really fun light in it. And then up here is just a shelf that I hung. Layout wise I chose to put my bed over here just to sort of keep a separation in the room. This also was the first part of my room that I started decorating. This headboard matches the color uh, of the walls of my entry and I love it. It's actually from Target. This stool over here doubles as my side table, though it is an actual stool. So if we ever need more seating, that's always an option. Also the black wall was a big choice and um, kind of a non-negotiable for me. I really love this sort of charcoaly black color. The paint color is literally called blackish and that's exactly what it is and I think it's um, just a really nice backdrop for some of these colors and helps them pop. I have this lamp which is another one of my favorite decor pieces that I own. Love the brass and the chrome on each other. Puts off really nice light too. I originally did white curtains but they just weren't right for the space and um, I had sort of an inkling to do pink to pair with the headboard color and the rest of the color palette in here and I really love them. So these are just velvet curtains that are from Ikea. Across from my bed, this is what you see. Obviously, there is like not a ton of room to walk through here, though you can and I do all the time. And I had this shoe rack, so made use of that and the space. Above it, I have my periodic table of NYC trash, which is always a crowd favorite and um, big conversation starter. This is an Ikea Tarva dresser, so I'll insert a photo of what it looked like before. This is one of my DIY projects, and I will have a separate video all about how I did this. So if you wanna see that, subscribe and stay tuned for that. On top of it, I have some of my favorite things. This actually has been repaired. It broke kind of recently, but is a burger coaster set, a gift from my roommate. So thank you, Celia. And this art piece above the dresser is another piece from Karina. I had been eyeing this for literally years and I'm currently renting it from them. I love it so much. I particularly really wanted it to sort of synchronize the color palette in here. And I have some fresh flowers, always something I like to have on hand. And this jewelry organizer. I'm currently filming over the holidays and my roommate Celia is not here, but we did film her room before she left. So I'm gonna include that footage now and give you a peek inside her room. Hi everyone, my name is Celia, Carrie's roommate, and <laughs> this is my room. So we're just gonna do a little bit of an overview of my room first, and then I'll talk about some specific things. So I have this open spaces shelf, as well as my little desk that me and Carrie made ourselves. <laughs> it was a big tile project. I really love pastels and flowers and stuff like that, if you can tell. I also really love Betty Boop and all of this, you know, kind of fun little stuff. <laughs> I have way more shoes than this, but you know, that was on display. So yes, this is my desk. Me and Carrie made it. That's a vintage Ikea mirror and you know, loves, love Harry Styles. So I had to have that. So yeah, I just have some hay bins all around my room as you'll see and just sort of like a flower blob sort of vibe, pastel vibe going on here. This little white dresser you see I got off of Facebook Marketplace, me and Carrie carried it downstairs, but all I did was just change out these handles from ones on Etsy. So me and Carrie painted my room pink. Actually, I think I did the pink wall, but she helped me do all the white and just some other areas of the room pink where the bed went. I tried a bunch of different layouts for this room, but this is really what's worked for me. I lived here for a few years now. It really maximizes the space in the best possible way because as you can see, it's a small space. This side table my friend's dad made for me and I'm obsessed with it. More storage hay bins. I just stack them up and some storage above my bed that I installed myself because I'm a crafty girl. Our final stop is the bathroom, which is not too exciting, but we tried to make it relatively cute, if you want to call it that. It's kind of nice that the bathroom is all tile and slightly modernized, but um, the one thing that is not good about that, especially, is the fact that we can't really hang anything on the wall, and so we have to have this over the toilet um, 
storage shelf, which I, for some reason, these just like really are not it for me. I thought about doing a thing where we like hung something from the ceiling and like made a shelf, but we just never got around to that. And so pretty uninteresting, not super organized, but we do have these open spaces bins that you'll see throughout my apartment. Don't look at that. This is a whole mess of hair tools. We tried to have fun with it where we could. So I have a fun bath mat. This is definitely for children. Fun trash can. Yes, this is a toilet bowl cleaner. Some black and white stuff, which is like my favorite color combo to decorate with in addition to a lot of color. And then our hooks on the back of the door are for towels and robes. The medicine cabinet does give us a good amount of storage. Celia and I both currently or formerly work or worked in beauty. So lots of products in here. We split this shelf and then that's hers and that's mine. And that is it for the bathroom. Okay, and that's the full apartment. What did you guys think? Again, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. And feel free to subscribe if you wanna see more or follow me onto my other social media platforms. I'll see you in my next video, whenever that is. Okay, bye.